Privacy is no longer just a fundamental right for people. It's become a basic necessity, right alongside bread and milk. Um, people, as more and more people are getting online, there's more um, and quicker access to broadband. More and more people are facing obstacles and challenges when it comes to privacy. And one of the things I, I'd like to remind everybody is, um, you know, when people lose their privacy, they're losing their jobs. They're losing their bank accounts. They're losing their health care, um, along with their dignity. So for anyone who isn't familiar with the Federal Trade Commission, we're the only general jurisdiction consumer protection agency in the United States. We have really broad consumer protection jurisdiction over basically every kind of business there is, with some exceptions, namely telecommunications companies and banks. Those are the two main ones. But we basically regulate everyone else. And our enforcement authority is very broad. It basically gives us the power to bring actions against unfair and deceptive trade practices. So it's, it's not a technology specific charge that we have, but because our enf enforcement authority is so flexible, we find ourselves in the position of looking at a lot of these new technologies and what impact they may have on consumers. I'm here today to really discuss uh, the library perspective on, on these issues of privacy in the Web 2.0 world. Um, I'd like to begin by saying that librarians are in the information business, and we believe that information is inherently good, and that a people who are living in a representative democracy or are looking to improve whatever form of government they have, should have unfettered access to all legal information. The, this panel is covering security as well as privacy, and I think a lot of the concerns that have been raised, I absolutely agree with, but they're really security concerns. And I think, if anything, that is an area that I don't think there's been enough attention on is, you know, are we doing enough? And I really don't think it's even a, a, a you know, writing a statute doesn't solve the problem. It's, how do we improve security? Um, you talked about your banking experience. I mean, this involves, um, you know, personal, uh, social type of fraud as well as actual data security as well. And I think um, it's an area where I would say it's something that policymakers really we should be all focusing on the security part of the problem. 